by uh, Jim McConnell. Is Jim here? Right. Okay, thank you. You're next. Thank, thank you. you. I'm Tom Newkirk. I'm the chair of the Oasis River Property School Board. I'm here to represent my board in supporting House Bill 564, which I believe is superior to House Bill 101 for many of the reasons that have been already stated. Um, since I've already spoken, I'll be very brief. Um, I, we want to join the uh, New Hampshire Medical Society in supporting this bill. And I have a um, editorial from the former head of the New Hampshire Medical Association kind of articulating their support for this bill. And I just want to make basically two points. Because we're talking about mass shooters. I don't think that's the only issue with this bill. Uh, the schools are open to people with, okay. who are angry, okay. who may have a deep grievance okay. about something that's happened to their kid. They're open to, to spouses that are in custody, in, you know, angry custody battles. <coughs> uh, they're open to arguments that et can escalate. These people may never come into a school with any intention to shoot, but if an argument escalates and there's a gun available, things could happen. And I think we've seen this certainly like in road rage where some things just explode <coughs> and then something tragic happens. And I think this, this bill can deter people from entering those situations with the gun so that they would escalate in that way. My other point that I want to make, <coughs> and with all due respect to the training, which I totally believe of the people who have spoken in, in opposition to these bills, we believe that even in an emergency, gun owners who lack the complex training of police officers can pose a menace in densely populated schools in chaotic situations. And they can even be misidentified as perpetrators if there are multiple guns there. And I think there was a shooting in Alabama where something like that happened. Somebody had a gun and he was mistaken as the perpetrator when he was actually trying to help out the situation. So I think it creates a danger even for the person bring, you know, with the gun trying to do the right thing. Um, so for these reasons, uh, we, we support this bill. This is controversial territory, touching the Second Amendment rights. But I've worked in the New Hampshire schools ever since 1977 when I came to New Hampshire. I've been with, worked with teachers, parents, on the school board, in, in classes at the University of New Hampshire where I taught for 37 years. And I truly believe that if you were to be parents or teachers or administrators or students, most would be shocked at the permissive New Hampshire laws and the current <coughs> mix of the gun laws. And they would view this bill as good sense. So I support this bill, our school board supports this bill. And I also think that in the issue of like using guns in a, in a, in a, in a kind of emergency <coughs> situation, it would be prudent for this committee to talk to first responders and to police force to see their view of, of what the situation is like for them if there are multiple guns when they come into a school in an emergency. I think that would be a good step for you folks to do at some point. So thank you very much. And I have a copy of these remarks and I have a copy of the um, statement from the former head of the New Hampshire Medical Association. Thank you very much for your testimony. Are there questions of, yes, Representative Lakers? Yes, um, people in the state have been carrying guns in the schools for decades. Mm -hmm. So my question to you is, have you, as you have parents come in and are becoming upset or upset over, you know, the people that you were talking about, have you seen any of them actually draw or threaten yeah. somebody else? Thank you very much. Any further um, questions, Mr. Newkirk? Dropped, um, <laughs> that's been the story of my life. Thank you very much. Right thank, right thank you very much. Uh, Mr. McConnell, I'm going, to have, I'm going to ask you to suspend for just a second. Sure. I'd like to have uh, Senator Feltus, who just uh, gave, gave us a card, come forward and provide testimony. <laughs>